What the? What the? What's going on, John? Good to see you. I love how I act surprised whenever people come in, and I'm the one who added you in. But so true. Uh, we just peed. We're gonna go back to work here. We're gonna talk about Afghanistan today or tomorrow. We're gonna I, do dude, a little I hear bit of. What do you say? Or I hear people are coming to visit. Oh, uh, I think Blake is in town. Yeah. And uh, I think Lance is, is hanging out with him, too. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of Taliban posting today. And then, Let's uh, go. Let's probably, go. Yeah, this is going to be a fun one. It'll be and fun. So what are you, are you doing a little bit of Legoing today? What's going on, big guy? I'm doing a little bit of cleanup. You know, I think this is a big metaphor. I'm, like, cleaning up the Legos so that I can move into this um, area as, like, a, a space to do my show. Um, and actually, you know, I'm, I'm, we're just waiting for these windows to come in and then it, it'll all be ready. But, um, at the moment, you know, or rather while, I, while it wasn't ready, I was like, I'm just going to take out my Legos, like take it from the attic to start building. And you know, I, I think I, I think I told you this. I think that Legos are so implicitly right wing because they truly embody the two most important aspects of being a man. Right. One is the ability to create, and the other is simply following orders. Literally. I think that's so important. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, we can save this country because we've got so much training and tearing apart our Lego sets and building better things from them. That's what, that's what it is. This is the training. You know, I'm going to give my son his first Lego set when he's like a baby. And I'm only having sons, by the way, but... Um, I, I will I will give him this Lego set and he won't understand the importance of it. It's like when you grow up and you realize that your parents were right about everything, at least in families that are stable, you know, you're, you're like uh, the kid, the kid you is told by your parents, phone bad and you reject it. But then years later, when you're reading Ted, you start to realize your parents were right all along. So yeah, no, and you can tell a lot too about a kid by the way they play with their Legos. You know, you go over to some kid's house and he's having the stormtroopers ally with the scouts, ally with the, the, the pirates. And it's like, wait a minute, how do all of these different factions of, of creatures get along together? I, I think this is unnatural. This is, uh, yeah, it's against the order of Legos, right? I don't, I, don't think it's, uh, it's, I don't think it's conducive to a proper coalition. I think that no. even, for me, it was Indiana Jones. I think, I think, you know, the Cowboys and the Pirates, while often pitted against each other, I think there's a proper coalition to be built there. It really is the same spirit, too. You know, you're sort of mm -hmm. taking this adventurous uh, quest to loot and pillage and, and, and acquire treasure. So I agree with that. There really is a, a faction to be had there. But, yeah, I, I've noticed that um, – what was I going to say about the, the Legos? I had another take, but – Something intelligent, I'm sure. I just got distracted by the idea that I have to do this today instead of play with Lego. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm making everybody jealous because, you know, all these people, they post like, the, the right wing, these are the right wingers that are trying to save America, they're out here playing with Legos. It's like, you're just jealous. You're just mad. Yeah. You don't have yeah. a giant floor full of Legos, full of little yellow men who you can, you know, have uh, create many atrocities, which will be unspoken of, but... You don't get yeah. it. These people yeah. are soulless and they're unhappy. Lego City is uh, burning the books. They're doing historical revisionism to hide the, <laughs> the, the genocide of the yellow Legos. You know, they started printing normal, like, you know, peach colored Legos. There's a genocide against the yellow Legos and no one's talking about it. They're suppressing yeah. it. They're importing these, these peach colored uh, Legos by, by the masses. And, and slowly over time, it's getting harder to find those yellow Legos. And, uh, you know, it really makes you think. Yeah, you know, I, I actually, it's kind of funny. I don't think I've got a single stormtrooper. And I have, like, lots of stormtroopers, like, mi like minifigures, but I don't have a single one that's still put together. Like, they have arms torn off. They're, like, wholly unrecognizable. Transhumanist Kai. No, <laughs> literally, I'm like, I need, this, uh, I need this white hand for a different character. That's when, dude, you know you were really, like, destined to be an autist when, as a kid, you would not only, like, take certain torso pieces and leg pieces, but when you took the arms or, like, put, like, uh, what is it? Certain minifigures have peg legs and you'd, like, replace certain limbs or hands that's truly like malice right See, yeah i never got that you're like sid from toy story i never I, got no, that literally he's like, literally me <laughs> i uh, i just remember i had this city that i made and it was just a very basic lego city but the storyline when i would play were, was always the same there was like this council of people and i think this really foreshadows my political development there was one guy 
who was just simply named the rich man, sort of analogous to the narrator in Fight Club. He had no name. He was just the rich man. And he was identified because he had long hair, which I think was Professor Snape's hair I got from him, and then a cape. And then his right-hand man was a ninja. Ninja was basically the sheriff of the town. And there would always be these troublemakers, Kai, let me tell you. And they'd come and they would try to upset the established order of the rich man's city. He was a good leader. Sure, he had consolidated power, but he wasn't a tyrant or anything. And these actors would just come in and try to subvert the established order of the rich man's city. And then they would go to, the, there was a big arsenal in the middle of the, uh, the city with all the weapons. And they would go in there and they would take the weapons and they would basically just start committing acts of mass violence. And the city would have to clamp down on these people who had presumably been NK altered by other forces that were trying to undermine the sovereignty of my Lego city. And they would just have to be shut down. They would have to be, be healed, just crushed into the ground and buried another Lego house on top of that. So this, you know, the Lego, the Lego city lore, above everything else dude it's uh <laughs> the man falling into the river what's Wasn't that, that one video does lego city recognize the state of israel <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't they reply no or don't they, they reply yeah yeah because they uh they tried like figuring this out like through evidence and they yeah. found that there is not a single lego set that has like train station destinations or plane destinations to Israel. There's there's literally no set that recognizes Israel. So Dude, I love that's what I love about like, you know, they say the meme can really tell a lot about a person just because it resonates with you. And so you look at like memes that women laugh at. It's all like dogs, office references. For some reason, the memes that I've always like really just resonated with, and so have all my closest friends, have always just been math-based memes. Just uh, maps. What if there was a thing called the Paraguayan Empire, alternate World War II history, where Paraguay just takes over the entire like eastern half of the world. Or does Lego City recognize the state of Israel as legitimate? These are things that just really are funny, and so few will take that into account because they just don't have the intelligence to fixate on the map and the hypothetical structures within the map. What are you doing? This dude go mute mode. All right. What I just did, sorry, I couldn't talk for a minute. I didn't want you to hear just like the Legos, but I, that was incredible. I don't think any person could have replicated what I just did. I just pretty effectively put all those Legos back in there single handedly. I'm like, dude, I'm like an Uber mensch. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like the, uh, I, I can't even tell you, dude. I'm like Mr. Lego. I'm like... Uh, your your optics are so question... Like, I am just so perplexed by it. And I've given up trying to wrap my head around it. I've simply understand that it transcends my comprehension. You're, you're operating with variables and on different, like, like geographic and, and geometric planes that are just, like, incomprehensible to my senses. Yeah, dude. I see people are like, that's a dog whistle. It's like, that's Nietzsche. I'm, I'm dog whistling Nietzsche. Check this out. This is the classic hologram of emperor palpatine from the star destroyer set which is very rare you know a lot of kids had the death star but i know very few that had the star destroyer and i was one of those kids got it for my birthday when i was like 12 probably so um very very cool what what you know is also a very underrated uh series that's the thing you know the the lego versus what's the other one i don't even know what was it um What's uh, the... I know Playmobil. Playmobil. No, what's well, Playmobil was legit. So was Imagine X. What was the alternate Lego for if your parents hated you? That had like Halo. Oh, Mega. Blocks. Yeah, I... Mega Blocks. Their licensing <laughs> game was so weak. Like yeah. Lego Indiana Jones, very underrated. I had the uh, the set where they had the in Indiana Jones four. They had that like lawnmower thing, the tree cutter. Yeah. yeah. And you could make it drive, and the blades would spin, and you could cut people in half. Uh, that that game by the way lego indiana jones when they had that level that level was awesome and uh no you're right like mega blocks they uh they very poorly but as i got older i actually i got a bunch of their call of duty sets i was like yo, this is actually sick so when i was like 13 or 14 i was like yo mega blocks call of duty it's like gaming i'm like gaming now but with my legos it, i don't know it's kind of a bastardization but i i think it's also taking that, that creative energy and putting it in, in you know a different frame because now i can actually commit like war crimes with my legos like now yeah, i've got true. actual u.s soldiers in my Legos. <laughs> now now i can play the fall of kabul on new town 
uh, with my Legos, which was pretty sick. <laughs> Bruh. Let's let's see, John. I think we've got people who want to make some content. Uh oh, this is exciting. Yo, what's going on, pimp? If hey, John. Why don't you follow Eastern me? European. Why don't you follow me on Instagram, John? <laughs> I didn't even notice. I didn't follow you. That's my bad. Yeah, I know. That's some mage. Um, I got a question. And so, John, would you be interested in playing on a Minecraft, AF Craft, streamer world? Yeah. All right. Um, uh, DM me your Discord. I'll send you the invite. It's going to be uh, about like nine people, but it's uh, it's going to be hype. I think we're starting it up today, finally. Look, it's happening right now. I tried getting into it a few times, and it wasn't working. You went into the main server. I'll send you the invite to the private server. Okay, sweet. Um, yeah, no, it's it's under maintenance to get the private server on right now. I'm at my mom's house right now, packing for college. Um, How are you going to college? Is that a thing? Yeah, today's actually my first day, but the class that I thought I had today is only happening in person. Oh, is that what you're doing? You're private. moving into the, uh, the Kai <laughs> HQ? Yeah, this is Kai HQ, the studio for my show, which I still don't have a name for. I've done four the Kai show. No, I, I don't want it to be on the nose. Like, you know, the, you could do, like, the Kai cast, but that's, like, really, that's really on the nose. Today with Trey. Today with Trey is not bad, actually. I, I kind of rock with that. I'm going to continue that, dude. I thought you were doing one with, uh, with Bryson, wasn't there? Oh, shit. What did you do? This mf -er. I'm breaking shit. So true. Anyway, John, uh, we should make a... Um, we should make a chicken farm, which is an, which is colloquial for an alliance. In my I'm opinion. unironically, uh, I think I'm going to renew Jackson my lease. Adams, why would you say fuck Trey? I'm going <laughs> to renew my lease in Texas for another year, and then depending on the way things go in the country, I might buy a, a pretty big property in North Idaho. After, You're gonna, uh, after that. <laughs> that's like Dude, the, Idaho is actually sick. Like, Idaho's like, legit. I'm a big fan. That is like the um, – <laughs> that's horrible optics. Why? I that's, like, that's like what chilling. all like the that's all like what the white white nationalists do. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm aware. The whole aware. like Richard's been, like the most North Idaho. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, dude, you're a white nationalist if you homestead, dude. Yeah, you if you live in Idaho, that's the same as saying like you're a white nationalist if you have children, which is technically what they say. Like they literally. I agree. Say, but... I don't know. So true. <laughs> Are women allowed on the AF server? No. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Taliban posting. See if I can get this video out today. But um, yes, sir. the proper oh, John, take on the game. Taliban in the, the, in the Minecraft take. server. Me and uh, Nick, we're teaming up as Taliban. I've made Taliban skins with Pepe in the Taliban ropes. Bro, you, you make me. A we're skin, gonna right? we're gonna troll Jane and McNeil with TNT. Is he anti-Taliban? No, Nick? he's just anti trade no. <laughs> Oh, Jaden, yeah, <laughs> Jaden. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, uh, well, and he yeah. also he sees and he has like he gives like he like rages, so it's like funny when you fuck with him. <laughs> I made I made a clip of his stream yesterday where you jumped in front of him and he lit your flower. Dude, send me that clip. That was yeah. so. Funny. Um, and I gave him a rose. <laughs> yeah, John, we uh we need to make Rhodesia. We need to find the the biome that has like the funny trees, the acacia wood. The, the savannah. We make Rhodesia. All right, big guy. That's what we'll do. We'll you put off your homework yeah. assignments. I'll put off my uh, <laughs> my, my, my e boy stuff, and then we'll just make Rhodesia in Minecraft. The first day of school, John, I got no homework. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm still fascinated by these Legos for another fifty minutes. Did you have classes today? Uh, yeah, I was literally ready to hop on the bus and get like over to the school, and then turns out like the class is going to be on Friday. I only have one in-person class, and that class is only held on Fridays. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to start funneling you Lego sets to keep you in the house because otherwise I, you're gonna be you're gonna be running around campus talking to all these girls. <laughs> make, <laughs> talking about all these girls, what, dude? I'm doing political science. They're gonna hate me. No, the, I've seen Kai in the wild. He just has no control. Just oh, no control. Dude, uh, people say that I'm – well, Kai goes after him. He's always like, Trey, you always go for one. I've never really? touched – I've never – I've literally never held hands with women in my life. Basically. And, and, no. yet, and yet you end up posting them on your story. Mm -hmm. I post like 10 different girls on my story every day. That's 10 more than you should be. Mm -hmm. And then and they all block me. <laughs> and I get blocked by each and one of them. This is the set that I'm making right now. It's the ship in the bottle, and um, and it's kind of sick. This is the bottle and the ship, 
like this is Celtic or something. I don't know. I don't know what coat of arms that you is. You guys put it public bricks. I'm going to put it on the shelf. I might replace the monkeys. Uh, I don't know, man. It's it's kind of tough. What's that trophy for? Oh. Varsity. Congressional. Debate. debate. That was the only like cool trophy. Like I've got a lot of other cool debate trophies because I'm a cool Did debater. Play... Did you play sports, Kai? No, no. Based. I played. Uh, I played varsity football. I'm actually in my football mm. football shirt. You know. You know, I was like, uh, I'm like yeah. you, Kai. I'm like, yeah, you, you were you were one of those things that they run into for practice. You were one of those things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was on a varsity track literally because my coach appreciated that I was the fastest white kid on the team. I'm not, even, <laughs> not even kidding. That was his quote. You saw that, you saw that Australian guy, right? Uh, I forget his name, but the dude that beat what the a... second fastest man in the world in the 100 meter. Oh, yes. They tried. They literally tried deleting the footage and not. No, anything. it's so tough to find the footage, bro. It's so mm-hmm. tough. But Australia like is is gassing him up this dude with the mullet like absolute chad that should have been dude that should have been the thumbnail for the america or for the white boy summer white boy should summer. have been no, i liked mine dude john miller optics checking me <laughs> <laughs> did it, wait, did you have it wasn't it hitler in your oh yeah yeah it was hitler <laughs> with, uh, with pit vipers <laughs> it was kind of cack <laughs> and then like you you, ex- you even explain it in the video but mf is always like I think that's the reason. Uh, part of me thinks that Ben Lorber watched your video and just didn't want to like look more stupid than he does. But then he does. That's yeah, why he didn't did. mention it. No. Ben Lorber, um, he's like a Lion base. Ben. He's based. He's Libel base. Ben. Libel Lorber. He hates Israel, dude. Yeah, he's a self-hating Jew. This anti-Semite. This anti. He's he's a real anti-Semite. Yeah, he is a real anti-Semite. I'm like Lance videos. I I support Israel. I support right, his like, plans videos. I'm going to go back to being an e-boy. Uh, let me know about the Minecraft server. Kai. All right. Yeah, Kai, yeah, keep, your, keep your Legos being built, big guy. We don't want to be bashing the KQ. I'm going to build Rome. I'm going to build Rome with these Legos, right. bro. Right. In, Rome in was Legos built in a day. Room. Rome was built off of like 500 milligrams of pre-workout and Legos. It's, it's true. It's just true. All right. See, boys. Sure. Yo, hey Trey, how you doing, big guy? I'm ready for the server. It's gonna be a fun time. I'm gonna be streaming Minecraft. Dude, so I'm, I'm gonna be so hyped. My mommy's making me Dino Nuggies. And, oh, I hyped, Dino hyped, Nuggies. Hyped, my sister came right. in here. Don't cap with me. Don't cap with me. Are you here? Is it just my internet that's awful or his? Is he gone? One second. I'm talking to my sister. There you are. Oh, okay. Okay. My bad. Yo. So my mommy's mad at me. Yes or no? No. I have to go eat my dino nuggets, my chocolate milk, and then Yo, that's my based? Class. Yo, tendies from mommy? Yeah. Let's go. Tendies Must from mommy. Cosmic brownies, too. Yo, 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 let's go, go, go. All right, have fun, big guy. All right, see you, Patriot. Actually, hold on. You got to answer one question from Principal Groiper. You owe him this because you okay. did his base. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see what the question is. Trey, why are you so mean to me? <laughs> <laughs> you just got grief. You got, got grief, dude. You got you got roasted, bro. Literally, so, I know I lava casted his whole fucking. I saw, game, I saw that on the timeline. Never hey, don't that. hate the yeah, player. I literally, I literally spent two hours lava casting it. Dude, yeah, Trey. What if I married your sister? Uh, she's not Mormon. Oh, never mind. Never. Yeah. Mind. My bad. You know. <laughs> Not bad, man. <laughs> What's going on, fellas? Dude, this is actually a fun stream. I'm enjoying this uh, preschool stream. I've got my first Zoom class in 45 minutes. This is, like, exciting. This lighting makes me look dead. And then this lighting, hold on, is the same thing. And then I need to find good lighting where it highlights my green eyes. My green eyes. Can't find it. Oh, well. Kai, let me join. I might. Who wants to come in here? Who wants to come in here? Let's go down the list. JD wants to come in. JD's a friend of Trey's, from what I understand. Putting that guy on the workout grind set. We appreciate it. We appreciate Trey on the grind set. We appreciate it. Is JD coming in here? 
Let me be your first lady in 2044. I'm Mormon. DM me. Yo, DM it. No, I'm joking. I don't talk to women. Um, I don't talk to women. Don't, don't DM me. Don't do anything. Don't, don't, don't talk to me. Ever. What is it? Or what's that line? What's that line from the funny show? From the funny show about the kids? Hey Kai, was sind deine Strumpf auf der AfD? Uh, die AfD ist eigentlich etwas based. Uh, ich kenne die Plattform nicht sehr gut. Und darum will ich nicht zu viel dazu sagen. Aber uh, meine Meinung ist, dass die AfD uh, based ist. Uh, anyway, who's in? Let's get, uh, let's, let's get on some official fight for life. Uh, Kai, why don't you try to pull? Yo! Bro, you, speak, you speak Nazi? That? You speak what? Nazi? What? Yeah, yeah. What? What no, the heck, bro? M uh, some dude is going to accuse me of just LARPing someday. Like, he's just going to say, you just learned German for the joke? I'm like, bruh. <laughs> you still know another language. Get, it's kind of like that. MF is get ridiculous. It's insane. So what's your plans? Are you, uh, are you going on a mission or no? I am actually like every day I become more and more, uh, more and more hyped to serve a mission. So I think I will do that uh, in the pretty uh, in the pretty immediate future. Probably after my first year of um, uh, of college is is done. That's kind of what I'm planning right now. I get my foot in the door with a few like internships, and then um, hopefully don't get kicked out of school in my first year. That would be a record though. Getting kicked out of school speed run. <laughs> That would be kind of awesome. Yeah. I tried it with TPUSA and they didn't even kick me out. So now I don't even have a story to tell. I'm not even punished. But, uh, Dude, oh yeah. I don't know how you didn't get kicked out from Turning Point. That's surprising. Freaking Joe. You know the whole Joe yeah. thing, right? Well, yeah. And, and this is the funny thing, too, is Joe got kicked out because he was standing next to Nick. I well, posted no, no, so a post next to Nick. They, um, so. So they, they ended up giving him his credentials back and he goes back to his hotel, gets his suit on, walks back. And then one of the security guys is like, no, you're not coming back in. And Joe's like, what do you mean? I got my credentials back. And the guy's like, no, if you come back here, I'm going to trespass you and you're getting arrested. <laughs> Bruh, no way. Scumbags. Dude, ACAB. ACAB for real. <laughs> ACAB turning point. ACAB on God, bruh. ACAB on God. Yeah, so I got, I got a question. So I've been thinking lately. So you asked me uh, pre-pandemic when I thought of the if, – if, if, if someone asked me pre-pandemic what I thought of the police, I'd say I'd back them 100% without a doubt. But after seeing all these riots and stuff, I kind of, I hate the police. <laughs> I'll just say that. But the well, way I view it is like, they're a necessary police. evil. How do we, what's the alternative to the policing we have as of now? It's That's what I'm like stuck on, Kai. That we don't hate the police. We hate when people police um, uh, on, on, you know, like illegal grounds. So basically like the enforcement of, unnatural or um or like evil legislation is evil in and of itself and the problem is that police officers generally submit themselves in all cases to using that force no matter the legislation no matter how much they agree or disagree and i think what we need is just like virtuous or righteous people who say we're going to enforce the good rules we're going to enforce like true law and order based off of um, you know true sense uh, and, and a matter of what is what is good or evil, but that's not what they're doing. They're like saying, "Okay, well, we're just going to do it. We're just going to enforce it because that's our job." So I don't know. I don't think the police, in and of themselves, are bad. I think it's what they enforce. And it's no, I'm not every... saying like they're inherently evil. You know, I'm just saying like they're upholding these disgusting laws. Like you see Antifa, they attack all the conservatives. The conservatives end up getting arrested. Uh, you're standing on the Capitol steps, you get arrested. You yep. breathe. The same day the epic January 6th happened, you get arrested. Yeah, no, literally, bro. It's, um, it's bad. These MFs are evil. Uh, and, um, and the police are going along with it. They're making it possible to, to shut down the true dissidents. And that's, that's a very upsetting thing, especially because, you know, most people, I'd say, know, like, a police officer, relative, or something like that. And I'm sure there's lots of, you know, like really good upstanding police officers. But when it comes down to it, you know, you do have that choice. Like, am I going to enforce these laws or am I going to say, nah, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I think if, if, you know, the police, if they played this game of chicken, if they said, hey, um, we're not going to do it. And 
what, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Ultimately, the government would have to yield. If the guys that enforce your laws don't enforce your laws anymore, you have to change something. Um, but nobody wants to play the game of chicken because the game of chicken is uncomfortable because it is, uh, it is very easy to lose. Um, but of course, you know, the people with the strongest wills never lose the game of chicken. So we just need to enter the game of chicken and hold out. That's what it is. It's a matter of holding out more than anything. See, that's what I was, that's like what I was thinking. I just can't put it into words. So that, that makes sense. Yeah. Exactly. And really, that's how everything is right now with like vaccinations. Like, uh, of, of course, I'm not really one to speak on the topic. But, uh, you know, I, I think that if um, everybody who is unvaccinated said we're not going to comply with these uh, with these um, legislative uh, proposals about, you know, I need to be vaxxed to like go to the gym or whatnot. If, if you played that game of chicken, if you said I'm not going to go to work, if you say that I can't work without being vaccinated, the employer needs people. The employer makes no money if you have no people. The employer is dependent on you, or at least in the past they have been. Of course, with immigration and with, you know, surplus labor, it's less dependent because you can just import people to do the jobs that Americans who are standing with conviction don't do. But really, um, I do think that game of chicken would, would yield some very positive results for people on our side of the aisle. This is true. Well, I got, got to go get a haircut. Uh, keep in those gains. Stay strong. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh, make sure not to make eye contact with women, you know, blah, blah, blah. All right, I'll talk to you later. See you, man. Have a good one. You too. Uh, good times. Good times, fellas. Who's in next? Who's in next? JD, do you want another go at it? We'll invite you again. I don't think JD's coming in. So let's invite Riley. Riley's been uh, requesting for a while. Yo! What's, what's up, up Kai Clips? Nothing much. How about yourself? Dude, I'm just hanging out. You love to see it. You love to I see started it. school today, so it's pretty terrible, to be honest with you. Hey, me too, man. Me too. I haven't had anything terrible yet, but I also haven't really had school yet. So, we'll What grade are you in? We will find out, but um, hey, uh, what, what kind of career path are you going down? If you can dox that, I want to speak kind of generally. Because well, I'm in the communications department right now, and okay. uh, my career path right now is I wholesale cannabis, so I do it from the farms to manufacturers and stuff like that, and uh, it's pretty good money, so I might have to stay in it, and my dad believes, my, my dad owns a company, it's a transportation company for cannabis, so... It's okay. kind of like uh, my dad sees it as like the new tech industry, you know, it's going to blow up even more. So yeah. there, there will always, always be drug addicts in this state specifically. True. Very true. Bro. <laughs> How so, about you? Are you me, in college? Yeah. Um, yeah, I just started college today and um, I'm going to go into, you know, electoral politics. I've always seen that as my future. Um, I'm doing poli sign for my pathway, which I know is like a really it's like a useless major. Um, what I'm really relying on is networking more than anything. So I'm just kind of crossing my fingers that I do a good job there. That's the way in any business is networking. Very true. Very true. The uh, way to go. But what yeah, school do you go to? Sorry, what was that? What school do you go to? Uh, I'd rather not dox that. I, I've got to speak more generally. You know, my, my whole getting kicked out of school speed run is like half a joke, half realistic. Would I know the school? <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah, you probably would. Is it a typical one that I would probably know? Yeah, yeah, probably. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. On the, I'll I'll I'll, t I'll talk to you on uh, on the games. yes sir on DMs and <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no it's a, it's an exciting time it's a, you know the young man's game uh, I I think everybody's gonna hate me I'm waiting for a teacher to do like a get to know your political persuasion and I just like I don't know I just like uh, get the whole class divided against me but the one teacher I have is actually pretty sick she's um uh, from uh, Cambodia or not Cambodia um. What was it? Columbia. Yeah. A little bit of a dyslexia moment there. Yeah, but there she you know. seems pretty all right. So um, well, her whole thing is like looking at democracy and how it's turning down in Latin America. So very exciting. 
That is very exciting. I had a government teacher in high school and she was very Republican, very far right. When Donald Trump won, she was like, had my back because I wore a bunch of patriotic gear and they figured I was a distraction in class. And she like went up to the vice, pre uh, vice principals. You're like, you can't tell him that he can't wear red, white and blue to school and stuff like that. And she was pissed off. It was pretty funny, dude. You're gonna have to monologue for a minute because I gotta put all these Legos away. So you better entertain the chat for a second. Here, let me throw a That's question. That's all good. How long have you? What's Four. that? Here, there you go. Shouldn't be a minute, but you've got something to monologue about now. Also, Chief Trumpster asked if I'm in a dorm. I am not. I am not in a dorm yet. Um, I, I want to save money. I'm like a fiscally responsible kind of guy, so not for the first year, at least very smart everybody who has been going to school like four-year universities and stuff like that just realize that it's now coronavirus university so it's like it doesn't even it, it's not even worth spending all that money to go right to a university i went to a um a community college in santa barbara for two years before i'm finishing my degree down here as well in socal so it was granted i lived in santa barbara it was still just it was still half the price of what a four-year would have been for the first two years so it's a good move. A good move if anybody in here is considering going to uh, college or is still in high school. I've definitely seen from the movement, especially the, on Nick and stuff like that, that there's 15-year-olds, uh, 14-year-olds, and that's good to see. It's good to see that there's so many young people. Dude, I'm, like, so good at putting these Legos in this box. I'm, like... Kai's pretty good at playing with his toys over there. Look at this, bro. I'm, like, so good at putting the Legos in. I've got, like, a Bionicle on the side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. Just... Yes, that is what's up. I used to do – I have a Lego uh, Capital set. I built it, and it's in my uh, closet. So if I ever get raided, they're going to think that I was the one who planted those bombs. Dude, exactly. The whole, like, the seizure of the Lego set. That's so funny. Did we ever find <laughs> that was legit or not? Dude, I can guarantee you it wasn't. <laughs> Dude, that's okay. Well, here I think I'm just about packed up. The bionicle has been put away. We'll uh, throw on the lid. I think that these Legos have all been seen. What? Uh, yeah, sweet. Come on, my nice. uh, What time is it? Now? Can't look at the noon my time okay okay sweet um so unless i'm too late for class i should be fine <laughs> um, you go to school, school or you're fine uh no i see it's online but it's like one of those um synchronous uh zoom classes yeah that makes sense so i yeah, have I things but then there's like a couple times that we meet at campus for like because uh, i'm a senior so we have to give like presentations and stuff at the end of the semester Gala or gala or whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, very true, very true. Hey, let's see. Uh, what are the questions? Oh, Chief Trumpster asked about dorming or in an apartment. I'm not doing either. Staying with parents. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else? Screw a dorm, though. If you do go, you definitely just do an apartment. I mean, I guess dorms, you would meet other people to be able to find, like, roommates and stuff like that. But Yeah, exactly. Sounds sounds wag i went to some dorms at like uh ucsb i didn't stay there but i went there just to hang out with some people and like we went in and like, oh you can't drink in here you can't drink in here like there's crazy people all around i'm like well what's the point of going to college if you are not allowed to drink in your own dorm and then people come around you can't be too loud you can't make like noises and stuff it sounds very very wack so no it, it's like you know the anti-college experience but I, I guess you know being close to campus is kind of nice anyway well, being on I am, campus uh, most, so. yeah I'm, I'm gonna head out i gotta start prepping for my class coming up i gotta move my microphone around but dude, i gotta be to prepping to for war zone so yes, great sir. talking to you you yes, hit me up sir. later on and we will run absolutely dude absolutely yes we will Let's um, get i'm down. open tonight i've got some time actually i have like a 9 a.m class tomorrow which is kind of sucky but oh, i'll have a good one champ